Have you ever wanted to enjoy a juicy, fulfilling and refreshing Greek gyros in the comfort of your own home? Well now is the day that I and my Greek friend Fedon will show you in how 3 hours you can have piping hot gyros with some homemade fries, homemade pita tzatziki and juicy and flavorful chicken in only 3 hours of working plus waiting. So let's get to work because it's too late to book your flights to Greece now anyway. Before we start we have to define the elements of a good gyros though. First of all we need to have some amazing chicken, this chicken needs to be left to marinate at least one two hours or overnight for best results then we have the pita the bread that holds this holy meal tight so it doesn't fall all over you after a night out in the clubs of mykonos then we have the very very crispy fries we'll take no shortcuts when making these fries because they need to be perfect then we have the toppings like tomatoes white onion and optionally but for me an essential feta cheese and last but not least the tzatziki sauce a fresh sauce with fresh ingredient that gives you a taste of summer that will be our gyros now talking chicken there there is no arguing here, we have to use thighs. Get your dry and ugly chicken breasts out of my face, be a man or a woman, got to keep it inclusive in here. Jokes aside, chicken thighs are much more versatile and forgiving than any other part of the chicken. With that said, we now need to remove the bones of the thighs, if you have bought them with bones. Just cut from the bone to the surface, opening it up like a book. Then with a butcher's knife or a very sharp knife, release the bone from its meat prison by scraping it gently or violently depending on your preference. And now repeat this around 20 times until all your chicken is deboned. Also you can save the bones and use them to make a chicken stock or something or for a chicken jus for which I have videos coming up soon. Just put the bones in a bag in the freezer and keep filling up that bag. Now with our thighs open we will cut them into slices so they can cook faster and absorb the marinade better. In a big bowl we will add 5 grams of freshly grounded coriander seeds, 3 grams grounded pepper, 5 grams sweet paprika, 1 gram or more if you like it extra spicy of fried pepperoncini flakes, 2 grams dry oregano, 3 grams dry thyme. We mix it a bit then we add around 4 to 5 grams of salt the zest and juice of 2 lemons and 200 milliliters of olive oil or enough to cover the meat. Mix everything together and cover it with plastic wrap and leave it in the fridge 1 hour or overnight for a better taste. For the fries we have to use the red potatoes or any kind of waxy potatoes that hold their shape after cooking. We will peel them and store them in a bowl with cold water. Then we will cut the sides making like a potato box so the fries are as even as they can be. Also the thinner you make them the more crispy they will be in the end. Don't forget to store the cut fries in very very cold water because we want to get as much of the starch out. Then we will wash them in the bowl changing the water until the water becomes crystal clear. Then we will dry them with some paper towels in a baking tray so they are nice and dry ready for their first frying. But before that we will leave them in the freezer for around 40 minutes and in the meantime we can start working on the dough. In a small bowl add 5 grams of dry yeast, 160 milliliters of milk and 80 milliliters of water. Mix it well and get it to around 25 degrees celsius. In a big bowl we will add 330 grams flour, 5 grams salt, 2 grams dry thyme and mix it. When it starts bubbling and the yeast is activated we can add 5 to 10 milliliters of olive oil and mix the dry and wet parts. We will knead the dough for a few minutes then let it rest in a bowl with some olive oil covered in plastic wrap at room temperature. For the tzatziki we will add in a bowl 200 grams of Greek yogurt and yes it needs to be Greek yogurt because it's thicker and more flavorful than normal yogurt. Then on a deep plate we will grate one big cucumber with the microplane and yes it's gonna take a while and you might nick your finger but you gotta work if you want to make something good in life so stop whining. After the cucumba is grated we need to strain it on a very fine chinois until it is as dry as we can get it and also this juice is really good for you it has a lot of electrolytes so don't throw it out drink it as it is or add it to some cold water then we can add the grated cucumber to the yogurt mix it in with 60 milliliters of olive oil and three grated garlic cloves at the end add the juice of half a lemon or a whole lemon if you feel it needs more acidity and it's done six minutes for one of the best sauces ever in my opinion for the toppings we won't do anything fancy just some medium sized tomatoes cut into quarters and one onion cut into very thin julienne for the fat you can do crumbles or anything you want for me i just did it into small cubes coming back to the fries we will fry them in a big pot with oil at 80 degrees celsius for around four to five minutes until they are cooked all the way through but not brown we want them the same yellow color then again we will let them dry on some paper towels then set them in the freezer where they can stay until you fry them for the last time god damn this dough is thick you can see how much it grew and how fluffy it is now to make the pitas we will form it into a log then cut it into equal parts that we will shape into a bowl by pinching them between our fingers like mozzarella. Then we can flatten them nicely with your hand and then they are ready to be cooked. To cook them we will get a non-stick pan, heat it up to medium with some olive oil and let them cook around 2 minutes on both sides until they have some nice marks on them. They look amazing and they turned out even better than I expected. They are really flexible which we actually need to make a good gyros. For the chicken we will just cook it on medium high heat in our stainless steel pan until they get a nice crust and they are cooked all the way through. Around 5 minutes should be enough for how thick I cut them. And now for finishing up the fries we need to 
get the oil to 200 degrees celsius and fry them until they get a nice and golden brown and yes they were amazing crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside before tasting them we will let them cool off a bit put them in a bowl with some salt pepper and anything else we want toss them a bit and just listen to how crispy they are Oh my god, amazing. Enough simping over the fries though, we need to assemble these beauties. For the most authentic look, we'll cut some very big squares of aluminium foil and then add the pita bread. Spread on a generous amount of tzatziki and don't leave any bald spot on the pita. Add the meat, the fresh veggies, the feta and of course we can't forget the fries. Oh my god, this looks so good, so fresh. Then we'll shape it into a taco and tug it in tight with aluminium foil so it has an upside down cone look. And we are done. I will leave you now with some review from my friends and Fedon and of course myself. Until next time, keep spreading those kitchen smiles and happy cooking. Secret is to get everything in. How is it Fedon? <laughs> Is it good? Mm. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Give it the note for that. Grazie. A note cake. Mm. No. From one to ten, Kate, come on. Thank you, good. Okay, 10. Yeah, because I got like all the ingredients using second bread. <laughs>